Hi everybody, I'm Patricia Moreno and welcome to your 10 minute yoga energizer. I'm here with Nicole, who is also an intense Ati leader and we're gonna take you through just a really simple yoga routine that you can do anytime. You wanna just get your energy up and refocus yourself. So let's do it. So place your feet flat on the floor, take your hands underneath your thighs, lift your chest, and imagine a straight line from the tailbone up out through the top of the head and energize your entire body. And think of lifting up, up, up from the armpits to the hips and now drop the shoulders down. So there's a lot of space right here in the neck, right between the neck and the shoulders. Take a big deep breath in, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath, and exhale, ah. And again, a big, deep breath in, really big. Expand the lungs, expand the lungs as big as you can. Hold it, hold the breath. Put a smile on your face and imagine oxygen, life force and light going through every cell of your body. Now exhale, ah. We're gonna do it one more time. Big, deep breath in. Now you're gonna hold your breath, inhale a little bit more. Inhale a little bit more. Inhale a little bit more, get that whole back body bright. Hold it, hold it, and exhale, ah. Fantastic. Now with your hands underneath your thighs, curl your tailbone under a little bit, pull the belly button in against the spine. We're just gonna activate the core, so go back to a place where you can feel the core working a little bit. Fantastic, fantastic, good. Now if you can, release one hand and then release the other hand. If it ever gets to be too much, you just take your hands back to the thighs. Now lean back so your fingertips are behind the knees a little bit. It's gonna activate the core a little bit more. Just feel it, you're strengthening it, your core, your full presence. And then exhale, bring your hands behind the thighs and inhale, come up. So we're just gonna rock the spine a couple of times. Exhale, pull the belly in, lengthen the spine. Inhale, lift the sternum up. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the spine. Inhale, lift the sternum up, heart up. One more time. Exhale, beautiful. And inhale, sit. Excellent. Now roll your wrists, other way. Shake your arms out. Straighten your legs and pat your legs. So you're just energizing, putting energy in the legs, waking up the legs. So you're circling out and then in on the inside and then down on the out and then up on the in. Yeah, just wake them up. Now go the other way. Down on the inside, out on the up, that's it. But really pat, you're like saying, wake up legs, I need you today, come on. I'm gonna have a great day. Excellent, shake them out a little bit. Fantastic. So swing your legs around. Come to your hands and knees, spread your fingers, tuck your toes under, and then just hover a little bit so you're activating the core. Make sure the shoulders are right over the wrists. Shift your weight back so you're sitting back on those heels. Press the heels up and then drop the head between the hands. Just feel a really nice stretch. Now you're gonna slowly straighten the legs, press both heels down. Bend the knees and sink the hips back, send the heart between the arms. Press the heels back down. One more time, bend the knees, press. Excellent, and then straighten the legs one more time. Take one leg up, press both hands into the floor. We're gonna do our left leg, you do your right leg. Bring your foot forward between your hands. Pull your belly in. If you need to use your hand to get that foot forward, you can. Strengthen that back leg. So I'm gonna show you on Nicole just a couple of things you wanna look at. Make sure this heel is reaching back. Press the balls of the feet into the floor and then lift the thigh bone up. Shoulder blades can come back nicely so the neck doesn't strain and just pull the belly in. Now press back to downward facing dog and switch legs. Press both fingers in, pull the belly in. Use your hand to bring that leg forward if you need to. Press the back leg back. So it's just opening up the hips, right? You're just getting strength in the legs. You're grounding down. Beautiful. Press back one more time. Now we're gonna go into the flow. Bend your knees like you're in a cat. In Yoga Sati, I call this enthusiasm. So I want you to fill your body with enthusiasm that today's a great day. You're expecting great things. Take your right leg up. We're taking our left leg up. 
Swing that foot forward between the hands. Pull the belly in. Use your hand if you need to. Focus on the back foot and plant it. As you plant this foot, heel goes right to the center of the arch and the baby toe goes down. Place your hands on your quadricep. Engage your belly and press up to warrior two. So as you hold warrior two, you're strengthening your legs. You're energizing your body. Now you can see from shoulders to hip is one square line. Eyes looking straight and look right at the middle finger because you're learning to be able to have control over your gaze. Take a big deep breath in. When you inhale, smile. And when you exhale, relax. And in this pose, it's called intention pose. So I want you to mentally say, today I intend to have a great day. Now you're gonna place the back hand on the thigh, go to reverse, palm faces up, and you wanna think of opening up from the knee to the hip to the shoulder like you're stretching a rubber band, placing the foot firmly on the floor. The name of this pose is flexibility, and silently say to yourself, today I choose to be flexible. I choose to see things differently. Go back to warrior two. Remember, this back leg is strong, strong, strong. From warrior two, she's going to cartwheel and place both hands on the floor. Again, adjust that back leg and lift the left arm up, your right arm, and open to a twist. Now, as you open to this twist, you want to really think about moving from right underneath the shoulder blade and twisting, detoxifying. Today, I'm letting go of any toxic thoughts that no longer serve me. Place the hand back down on the floor. Place the back heel back down on the floor and come back up to warrior two. Today I intend to have a great day. Reverse. Today I choose to be flexible, to see things differently. Cartwheel the hands down, pick the back heel up. You're strengthening the legs and then open to a twist. Today I'm letting go of any toxic thoughts that no longer serve me. Let's do it one more time. Place the hand down. Root the back foot down. Push down into both feet. Gaze goes forward and silently say, today I choose to have a great day. Reverse. Today I'm becoming more and more flexible, willing to see things differently. Then cartwheel slowly. Bring the hand to the floor. Lift the back heel up and pick the back hand up. Place the hand on the floor. Pause. Let's go to downward facing dog. Press both heels down. Shake out the legs a little bit. All fingers down. You're going to take the same leg forward. So we were using our left. You have your right. Left leg goes up. Bring it forward between the hands. Plant the back foot down again like you're coming up to warrior two, but we're going to do a warrior pose, a sati warrior pose. So it's a squat, belly in, legs strong. Cartwheel both hands over, pick the back heel up, strengthen this back leg, reach back. Now plant it because we're going to do warrior two on the other side. Warrior two, cartwheel the arms up. Remember, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. Today I intend to have a great day. Set forth in motion the power of your word to declare today is going to be a great day. Take the arms up, right arm up, reverse. If that leg is getting tired, you could lengthen it, but try to stay down so you're strengthening those legs. Beautiful. Cartwheel all the way down slowly, using the core, using the strength of your legs. Plant down, heart forward, right arm up, or left arm for you, shoulder blades back opening up the body like you're wringing out a washcloth. Bring the hand back down. Plant the back foot. Push down into both of your feet and then silently say today and intend to have a great day. Reverse warrior two. Today I am flexible and I choose to see things differently. Cartwheel all the way down. Slowly lift that back heel up and twist. Right arm goes up, your left arm. Open, lengthen the spine. Today I'm letting go of any toxic thoughts that no longer serve me. Bring the hand back down. We're going to do it one more time. Back heel plants. Cartwheel up, warrior two. Smile. Smile. Today I intend to have a great day. Reverse. Today I choose to be flexible and see things differently. Cartwheel the hands down. Power lunge. Open to a twist. Lift that back heel up. And open. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Today I'm letting go of any toxic thoughts that no longer serve me. 
Bring the hand down. Step your front foot back. Downward facing dog. Come forward to a plank pose. We're just going to hold it for a moment. Tuck the tailbone under, shoulders right over the wrists. Bend your knees. Look forward. Let's lower down on the belly. And just release the back a little bit. Come to the fingertips. All the way down on the belly. Come to the fingertips. We'll do a little baby cobra. Lengthen through the legs. And then lift the heart. Just opening up the back. Don't force anything, but lift the sternum up. Beautiful. And come back down. Let's do a one more lift. Inhale, come up. Exhale, ah. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, ah. Tuck your toes under. Press back, hands and knees. We're just going to come back with the legs forward like we started. Swing the legs around to the front. Hold on behind the knees. Shoulders back. So today as you go through your day, Try to keep this energy, this inner body bright, the spine lengthened, the smile on your face, the breath strong, and bring your full presence to your day. This is how you can command a day that will be better than yesterday. So bring your full self into everything that you do and decide that today is going to be a great day. Great job, everyone.